Hey y'all, it's me, Jeannie. I know it's been a really long time since I have uploaded a new video. Um, the primary reason that I have my entire uh, YouTube channel is to share health and hair tips because I'm a hairstylist and recently I finally um, got off into making wigs. Woo! A lot of my clients have been asking over and over, hey, why don't you get off into wigs? Why don't you start making wigs? Let me know when that happens. And um, I have always done so wins and they've been wonderful as far as a protective style for my clients. But um, me personally, I'm still kind of getting the hang of closures. They're great. I love what they can do as far as protecting uh, my client's hair. But honestly, I am feeling the wig a little more than just the closure sewing. Just my opinion, my experience. This is a wig. This is the first one that I made, actually, like ever. Um, and there's my part there. I'm sure you can kind of see. So I didn't bleach any knots or do anything extreme. Um, I got my closure from Maven. And originally, I had ordered a closure and two bundles from Indique. So, um, but I switched out the closure because I messed up the ND closure and, um, it was just kind of hard to tailor because it didn't come with the actual, um, like part already in it, but the Maven one, it came with, it always comes with a part in it. And I love the neutral color of the lace. So whether I bleached the knots or not, it still looks pretty decent. That's why I like, I love Maven's closures. So, in my head right now, I have two Indique bundles. They were both about um, four ounces a piece. And, I don't know, I, I'll tell you a little bit about what I like um, about Indique versus Maven. So, let, let's start there. So, I made a little list. So, with Indique, I only have ordered from the Pure Collection so far. Okay, so this is all I can tell you about is the Pure Collection from Indique. Um, it is gray hair. Um... It still tangles a little bit, just like anybody's hair. I have never had hair that just doesn't tangle at all. Um, even after taking the wig off at night, putting it up on my brick head, and then um, brushing it in the morning, I still have to brush that nape, that back area. But it's not bad. It's very, very minimal. Um, ironically, though, even though it still tangles a little bit, it does not shed. Like, I can run my hands through this hair as hard as I, I want to, and it just, it doesn't shed. Even when I brush the little tangling down the back, it doesn't shed, like it doesn't come out of my brush. So I love that, my husband does too. Um, and that's for the ND Care um, Pure Collection. So like I said, it does come in four ounce bundles. So I only had to order two bundles from ND and a closure to make a full head of, of a wig or whatever. So that's pretty cool. And then I did notice that in the closure for ND, it had the holes already pre-made, like put in the um, closure. So all you had to do was just sew through. So that was pretty cool. I just wish they could have put that part in there <laughs> so that I could just, you know, it'd be easier to alter something that's already there versus making it like from scratch. So give or take, I mean, it has its pros, more pros and cons, right, at this point. It is a little more expensive, but you can use the ND care for two or more years, which is great. So where you would spend, you know, anywhere from 150 to 250 for a Maven hair and only get like, I don't, I don't do more than two sewing installs with Maven hair because to me, it just gets raggedy after that. It's just too much to deal with. So I don't fool with it after two sew-ins. Now, a wig, you can make the Maven hair last a little longer on the wig. And they do sell wigs, but they aren't very customized, so you still have to do a little work to them. Um, so far, the people that I've known to um, purchase the wigs from Maven, they've come a little too big or a little too small. It's just always something. It's never the right fit, which is another reason I got into wig making. So, um, I mean, it's pretty cool, you know, give or take. You can make the wig uh, Maven, the Maven hair on a wig lasts a little longer, maybe about up to a year or so. But in deep for sure, you can get two years plus out of. And I advise my clients to make an initial purchase um, if they want to use the ND care and then just add a, a bundle every so often to grow that um, 
hair collection, if you will. <laughs> but at least you will have like a bin, literally a hair bin of good quality premium hair. Um, Maven, my Maven clients, they end up buying who hair a little more often than the Indeed clients do. Um, so like I've got one lady, she's purchased hair about four times this year. She's already paid for pro at least um, one full purchase of Indeed hair, which is like two bundles and a closure. Cause I'm trying to think, for the two bundles and closure that I have now, it was about 530. And they do have little, you know, payment plans and everything that people can do. I don't really get off into financing hair. I would just save my coins and purchase it outright. But whatever works for you, it is an option. So just back to, you know, the Indie versus Maven. I love Maven's closures. Um, the parts are really easy to customize. Um, the Maven hair has a lower price point than Indeed, so it's easier for people to purchase it right off. And they definitely have a lot of variety. Um, I've used a little bit of everything with Maven hair. The curly, um, all of it's been virgin though. Curly, wavy, uh, straight, um, body wave, we've used it all. Except for the relaxed um, straight textures. So I'm about to use that actually, <laughs> coming up. But, um... And they come in three ounce bundles, as far as Maven, they come in three ounce bundles. So you would need about three bundles in a closure if you were ordering through Maven versus two bundles in a closure through Indeed. But um, yeah, I mean, this has just been my experience working with both lines. I like them both, but I do love the Indeed Pure Collection so far. Um, but yeah, you really can't go wrong with either one. So I'll leave a link for each one um, below in my description box. And I also want to tell my clients about this new oil that I have been using. So I'm from Memphis originally. And as of a few weeks ago, I went to a natural hair training um, in support of one of my fellow stylists, that, um, stylist friends that went to school with me. And it was so good. She also manufactures her own products, y'all. And they are phenomenal. So I've been using this hair and scalp healing oil and it's by hair, it's um, the brand is Hair Goes by Porsche. Okay, so Porsche Michelle, she makes um, all of these and what comes in the oil is infused with um, basically different um, natural oils to promote um, hair growth and scalp care. So I know it has like peppermint oil, tea tree oil, castor oil, but it also has like liquid biotin in it. So this oil has um, definitely been a great aid for my clients with dry scalp, dry ends, just poofy, puffy, um, dehydrated ends. It's been wonderful. I've been using it on my scalp, my edges, um, at night when I take my wig off, and I also have been using it on my daughter's hair. Um, and like I said, different clients. So I would advise everybody to get this four ounce bottle. It retails for about $10, but you would have to pay for shipping. I'm about to start selling it in my salon um, pretty soon here. So I'm stocking up, working on that now. But um, I'll also leave her link below, um, as well as like her Instagram information if you'd like to order any of her other products. So that's all I have for you guys today. Just wanted to say I am loving um, the whole wig thing, you know, movement. Um, being that you can make it look like it's basically a sew-in with a closure. Um, it's very light when you make it with virgin hair versus uh, the human hair synthetic blend. Those are pretty heavy <laughs> and they get hot. So, um, yeah, I would definitely encourage everyone to try one. Um, like I said, I'm now making them so you can book um, your wig service on my style seat. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel um, if you like the content that I'm providing you with. So, thank you and have a good day.